Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have to quickly analyze the Bitcoin price because nothing much is going on. It is boring, I know my friends, but I just want to point out that right now this is the time to accumulate more cryptos, especially Bitcoin, my friends. Because in the bigger time frames, which we're also going to cover in today's episode again, uh, everything is just pointing out that we will most likely see a big trend reversal in the not so distant future. So if you like this crypto content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and sign up to Bybit. This is the trade exchange that I'm also using and if you want a Bybit account then make sure to use the link in the video description because with my link you will get four thousand dollars in trading bonus with your first deposit and now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because currently we are recovering nicely here above the 200 moving average it looks like that here for the next coming hours we could see follow through to the upside but therefore we still need four hour closes above this previous high that we had at around nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars then I think that we are about to potentially come up here and test this main resistance that we have here in the daily time frame, this falling broadening wedge. If we switch over into the lines chart, you can see that Bitcoin is forming this falling broadening wedge, in theory a bullish pattern, but trading zone is between $20,300 and the support down here at around $14,000, which of course would lead over time then into more continuation to the downside towards 12K because that would be the target down here uh, in the bigger picture, like the weekly and monthly time frame, since there we are building up a bigger falling broadening wedge than this one. But I still expect that Bitcoin can create here a potential bottom without credit down towards 12k just be ready for that scenario of course my friends but i still expect that the potential bottom is in and and since we are now trading sideways within this channel here between 18,000 and 25 thousand dollars i think that here we most likely gonna have at the end a bullish resolution to the upside and then we're gonna cover of course the targets but until then uh, we are just going sideways and we have to look at the lower time frames to see if somewhere we are getting some bullish uh, price action so we need to break important resistance levels and here the first step is of course four hour and daily closes above 20k then i think that we can look out for higher targets so if we're gonna have again daily and of course also four hour closes back above 20k that would mean that we would have for the first time since the all-time high again daily closes above the top of the Caltus channels so currently at around twenty thousand seven hundred dollars and this is what we need to see in order to expect here a nice rally at least up to towards 25k and potentially even up towards thirty thousand dollars the main resistance of this falling broadening wedge that we are forming because if we switch over into the US dollar index you can see that here we could potentially create a lower high compared to this one over here and that could mean that here in the US dollar index we could start a potential corrective phase to retest the support area and vice versa if in the US dollar index we're gonna see daily closes below the bottom of the Caltus channels currently at around 110 then we could see here vice versa a huge uh, corrective phase or at least a huge consolidation phase before eventually we come down and that of course could lead in such a move of Bitcoin and overall the crypto market and stock market that we could see here some uh, bullish uh, price action so we need in the daily time frame to have again daily closes back above $20,700 and then in my opinion we will initiate here a nice red towards the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame perfectly matching this resistance trend line at 30k and once we have daily and weekly closes above of it then I think that we can look out for targets towards uh, the all-time high that we currently had at around 69k it doesn't mean that we then should have new all-time highs but it is of course also possible but I just expect then a nice rally and therefore we switch uh, over into the monthly time frame because the top of the Kelton channels in the monthly time frame currently it is here at around 50k and in the monthly time frame we are in extreme oversold condition exactly like we were for example here in 2019 afterwards we started a huge rally up towards um, the top of the Kelton channels in the monthly time frame at that time it was at around 14k this is exactly where we topped out and currently the top of the Kelton channels in the monthly is here at around 50k it is declining of course but it would be uh, let's say if we're going to start in the next coming months a huge bear market rally uh, somewhere between 50 to 40 thousand dollars and not only in this bear market we were in in such uh, conditions also here 
in 2015 and i think that currently we can compare this uh, bear market or bull market more with 2015 because uh, here afterwards uh, we bottomed out after a buy signal in the monthly time frame in exact the same oversold condition like we are right now and over time we came up towards the top of the Keltner channels but at the end we didn't see a huge rejection or corrective phase back down we continued slowly to rally up month by month up towards uh, the the cycle top of 2017 and this is in my opinion what could also happen that over time we will come up here stay somewhere between 40 and 50k and with the next halving go to way higher levels this is of course a long-term outlook but this is in my opinion what we could expect here um, if we can avoid the burst that we crash down towards 12k and then remain down there for the next coming months and years and the reason why i also compare this bear market with 2015 is because of the us dollar index because we were in 2015 exactly in the same uh, overbought condition in the monthly time frame and way above the top of the Kelton's channels exactly like we were or, or like we are right now and that's why as soon as here we're getting a sell signal in such overbought condition like in 2015 i think that here also we could start a corrective phase or at least a, a big consolidation phase down towards the median line or the bottom of the calc channels this is in my opinion very very possible uh, if the user index stops now uh, to push higher and therefore we need at least one monthly uh close in red so we need a red candle similar like we had also uh, here in 2015 because that of course could signal a potential top for the US dollar index and a huge corrective phase or even a bear market and you can see that also in 2015 we had uh, higher highs here in the monthly time frame even though in the bitcoin price we started to rally up towards the cycle top of 2017 so we could expect also here the US dollar index to have a huge crash consolidate create higher highs higher lows and so on but the bitcoin price still continues to rise that is in my opinion a potential scenario and that's why i am currently extremely bullish and i am currently all in into bitcoin with every uh, little stable coin that i had in all exchanges and if bitcoin starts to rally then of course we can expect also uh, most cryptos uh, pumping also like crazy for example ethereum also here we're in very similar conditions currently we're getting hold by the 200 weekly moving average so once we are starting a rally in the bitcoin price i'm expecting here ethereum first rally up towards 1600 dollars and over time towards 2200 dollars and if bitcoin could break out above 30k i think that also ethereum could break above 2200 dollars and reach new all-time highs because also here we are in very oversold conditions so i'm also bullish for ethereum and if we have a look into ethereum w quickly here we're still fighting with the resistance this new resistance at seven dollars and thirty cents in my opinion it depends now what bitcoin is doing because if bitcoin would see a big trend reversal then i think that also this coin could rally uh, up a lot and uh, that's why my friends i am accumulating still this coin even though we have seen a severe corrective phase in the last couple of hours and days and also i am still mining this coin so i am supporting the ethereum proof of work blockchain with my miners and for the US dollar index uh, I still wait for that uh, break of structure we need daily closes below the bottom of the Kelton channels so this would be the first time a daily close below and first we of course need still to close daily candles below the bottom line currently we're still in an uptrend but we got a sell signal in my opinion in the next coming one or two weeks we are going to see here a big move also in the US dollar index and in my opinion more likely to the downside and that of course could change the trend and vice versa in the crypto and stock market we could see a nice recovery now the nasdaq mini futures currently are also uh, pumping a little bit but i think uh, that we're still waiting here as well for a big move and also nasdaq needs to rally because that will be very much in favor for the crypto market as well and here we first need to break above the mini line of the Keltner channels and then above the top of the Keltner channels which also never got broken since the all-time high so we need here daily closes above 12k then i think that also here we can start a huge reversal and currently the European stock market is also pumping. So I'm expecting today and tomorrow, maybe uh, a little bit of boring price action, but most likely positive and not uh, negative. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to sign up also to all the other social media platforms. You find them all in the video description. And don't forget to get that $4,000 trading bonus over on Bybit. I did several tutorials how to claim those bonuses and also how to use all the features of Bybit. Watch them, they're all popping up at the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. And we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.